This is Emily Young making an upside-down pineapple cake. Hi, I'm here with Tony, and today he's going to teach me how to make an upside-down pineapple cake. Hi, Tony. Hi, Emily. How are you? This is Emily Young. She'll score a goal, play pretend, make a bunch of brand new friends. Learning, laughing, sharing, smiling. We'll have lots of fun with Emily Young. What are the ingredients we need to make an upside down pineapple cake? First, the most important uh, ingredient is pineapple. Then we need, uh, we have cake flour. We have butter, we have our eggs, and we have our pineapple, which is caramelized, and we have some sugar. Why do they call it an upside-down pineapple? Because what we do is we put the pineapple on the bottom of the tray, and we flip it upside down, so the pineapple is back on top. Oh, I like pineapple. This is a big kitchen. Yeah. Where do you dry here? Oh. To cut a pineapple? Well, there's some tricks that make it a little easy. To check if it's a ripe pineapple, you actually pull on the leaves. And if the leaves come off nice and easy, then it uh, shows that it's ripe. Okay. Take one from the top, just careful. Yep, there you go. Okay, just like that. I take a little bit off the top. Cheers. Now we're going to actually start making the cake part of the pineapple. We're going to put the butter inside the mixing machine, and I'm going to ask if you can measure me out two cups of sugar. Okay. 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 Uh, it's hard. Yeah. So, we're going to put the machine on. It's going to mix a little bit. So let me just... Well, hopefully it won't be noisy. Uh, we'll try to make it as little noise as possible. How's that? Good. Okay. Do you know why we butter pans? So, so the cake doesn't stick to the pan and, and so it doesn't rip. That's right. It's like sunscreen. <laughs> so now we grab parchment paper, push it there. These are pineapples, which have been car caramelized in sugar and butter. I'm going to taste it now. <coughs> Bitter. I'll turn the machine on and, and get you to pour an egg in one at a time, a little slow. Oh, it's Whoa, it's Sip some flour. Sour cream. You like sour cream? Do you want me to hold it? Okay. Yep. Yeah. One time, my mom put um, some 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 paint in a in in a yogurt cup, and when I was little, I was so I loved yogurt. And and when I saw the yogurt cup, I climbed up on the counter, and then and I didn't know it was paint because it was white. And then and then I. Uh, and then I drank it, and then... Oh. <sighs> it tasted horrible. Yep. There you go. And we want to do it till there's no more flour. Well, you're doing a good job. It smells great. I'll fill it up for you, and then you can... Okay. Pop. okay. There you go. There you go. <laughs> spread that. it out. Yep. This is the bottom of the cake that you're putting on right now. Mm. It's okay, we'll clean our heads again. Oh. This is our pineapple cake, upside down cake. So now it just goes into the oven, we cover it, and we let it cook for 15 minutes covered and about 20 minutes uncovered. Let's put it in the oven and I have an idea how we can pass the time. Okay. This is Emily Young and Tony playing Go Fish. There they go. Three, three. Over four. 
little fish. <laughs> How does it look? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Tony, for teaching me how to make an upside-down pineapple cake. I had lots of fun. All right.